Bye bye army, I see that you're watching the videos. I feel your pain because the wall market is going down and we are in this together. So I'm making another video. What do I feel personally? What can you feel and what do we need to do? So watch this video if you want to hear my thoughts about the current price action of PiPi, PP, Papa. I will call it PiPi. So what is happening with the PayPay -Pay chart guys? We see that it had an all-time high of around 160 million. Currently we are trading for 56 million. But do I care? That is the question. Do you need to care? Personally, I am buying more Pepe. Why? Because this gives us a nice opportunity. And when you're buying a project, you are doing this for long term. But what do I expect short term of the price action? I want to look at the Bitcoin chart first, guys. I don't want to make any panic at all. No, but I want to be realistic. I want you to prepare for both sides. So guys, this is the Bitcoin chart at four hours. We are seeing that Bitcoin is making higher lows. This means that every time when we reach this zone, the sellers are selling earlier than the previous all time high. But we are also seeing that the buyers are coming in later. So the buyers are willing to pay for a less price only. We can see it here. We reached the price of 61.5K. The next one was that the most volume came in at 60,000. Here the most volume came in at 56,000. And here it was 53. And here it was 49K. The buyers are getting more scared into the market but it is very reasonable why because there are a lot of stuff happening right now in the wall market you need to understand that the wall market of crypto is about the wall economic in the world as an example there's an election ongoing with trump and the other party and if trump wins this is very bullish for crypto but the other girl kamala harris is anti-crypto so we all want that trump is winning also with a very high rates to borrow money it's very high right now in the whole world this is the interest rate chart guys we can see it in 2007 2008 there was a wall recession but they cut the rates from 5.25 percent all the way down to 0 0.25 we saw another up run in 2019 but covid came and they need to stimulate the economy and this what happens was we going back to 0 0.25 and currently we are sitting at 5.5 but the whole world is expecting that they cut the rates in September because to avoid a war recession and stuff like that. But also when the rates are cut, it can come that the recession is also coming. Also, the Bank of Japan, when there was zero interest rates, did an increase of 0 0.25. And that results in a huge, huge pullback of the price compared to dollar. So the yen is also down and they are investing in a lot of stuff with the yen. So people are scared. They take out the money of a lot of stuff. Like as an example, they are pulling back the money from the gen out of the crypto market. This results in the price to the downside. And a lot of things are happening right now. Also with the monkeypox thing, people are scared for a second COVID scenario. You need to understand this, that the whole market is not very... Yeah, they are scared to buy right now. But at the same time, the most money is made when the market is going down. Because a lot of people are selling their tokens to you for a cheaper price because they're in panic. But we also need to be realistic. We have a pullback right now. And it is a nice opportunity here. But I think you also need to have some cash for in case we see a bigger pullback. Of course, we can go higher. And that is the reason I am staying into the market. Like we can see an increase making a nice low here. And then we go to the 70,000 area again. But also at the same time, we can expect that we making maybe just as here, we going up and then we see a pullback. So it is very reasonable to retest again, maybe this 48, 49,000 area. And then Pi Pi, of course, will also go more down. So when you're doing the dollar cost average, I suggest you to always dollar cost average and not buy all in once because in this spirit of the market, we need to prepare for both sides. And when we look at the wall crypto market, excluding the top 10. So this is the market cap of all altcoins, excluding the top 10 of coin market cap. And we can see that we almost back at the same area of November 2023, just before the massive punt of altcoins came in. So we saw an increase, but from the all time high, we are down around 50%, 50 guys. So it's very normal and healthy that we see a pullback. And from the bottom here, 
to here, we see already an increase of 25% during the massive dip of 49K Bitcoin. But this is the reality, guys. We need to prepare for both sides. USDT dominance. This is the dominance chart of how much USDT is inside the market. And we can see that it is increasing. People are converting the altcoins to USDC. And this is what you need to understand about the market, guys. And if you're here watching right now and you like this kind of content and talk about the world market, talk about PyPy, other coins, don't forget to like and subscribe to the Crypto June channel, guys. I really appreciate that you are subscribing to the Crypto June channel because with that, the channel is growing. More people will know about the channel. So like and subscribe and let's push the channel to 7,000 subscribers at the end of this month. So we talked about the US dominance. We talked about the market cap that we are back at the previous levels of the beginning of the bull run. But the real bull run isn't happening right now. The majority of the people are not in yet. It's a different kind of cycle. This is the worst cycle ever, like compared to others. People are expecting that everything is going up only. Let's take a look at the pie pie chart, guys. So let me do the price again. We are seeing this kind of levels. These are the price action levels. Like in this purple box, we can expect that people are buying when there is a correction. So if Bitcoin go down and we hit this purple box, there is a point of interest here from people buying the dip. Same here, but also people will sell their profits in this purple box. We can see it here. We can also see it here as a support. So we, we came above this purple box. We see that people are willing to buy more PayPay in this purple box to make some swings, swing trading or trading in general or holding because they think, hey, this is a nice price to buy more PayPay. Same is happening here. So we came in this box at the market cap. I'm not sure how much the market cap is, but at this price action, yeah, people start buying as mid apes. And then this is the moment that the price goes up and thinking, oh, I need to buy again. I need to buy again. So we go higher, higher, higher again. And this is how it works into the price action and the psychology of the market. Same here, people buying, people selling, people buying. And currently we are in the in the yeah in the nobody's zone you don't want to buy here you want you want to huddle here like wait what is the price doing if it goes to this purple box and you have bought here you can take some profits it's possible if we break both this purple box i will wait for a pullback and buy more here so if bitcoin is doing well we break above it and we retest here I will buy more Pi Pi. If we go straight away to this purple box, we can buy more. But I have cash left. I have cash on the side for in case we see it here going down, then we can buy more here. So I feel your pain. I feel that you are thinking, oh, maybe it's the bull market over and I need to sell everything. Yes, it is possible that we see a lower price of Bitcoin. But at the same time, we also need to understand that we are, we are still in a very nice area of Bitcoin that is doing already for six months. When we broke below this yellow line for a longer period, that is the moment I will stress out. But during this period of the market inside the acclimation zone of Bitcoin, I am still bullish. But we need to prepare for both scenarios here. I just want to be honest, guys. I don't want to say something that I just to make you happy. Like we making lower highs and at the same time we making lower lows. And we are currently on the four hours also making lower highs. So this is bearish, but like it can change very quickly. Once we break above 62,500, that is the moment I will be more bullish. But right now I'm more in the middle, like I'm preparing for both scenarios. So not buying all my money at once right now. I have cash on the side when we see a huge correction, because when Bitcoin go down, we will see a bigger correction of the wall market. And that is the moment we want to buy more Bitcoin, but also altcoins and more, buy more pie pie. So guys, about this video in general, most important thing is do not sell in red, because yeah, like you want to buy in red, you have cash on the side. These are the pipe levels that I am buying and selling myself. I wait for a nice correction if I want to buy more here. And if we don't see a correction and we see a price action, I want to see the pipe price go above the purple box, retest it, and then we go higher. So that's my opinion, guys. The wall market is currently in a 50-50 bullish or bearish. If we want to break above the 62.5K level, I am more bullish. If we break below this yellow line for a longer period, then I'm bearish. But for now, I'm in the middle. What about you? Let me know your thoughts in the comment. I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.